All right, so today we're going to be going over call flow control. What call flow control is, is a feature of FreePBX that allows me to set uh, from my phone without having to log into any of this stuff in the computer, it allows me to change where phone calls are going. So, for example, Let's say that you decide at the end of the day, rather than have the phone ring and then just go to voicemail, which is the standard behavior, that you would like the phone calls to go to your personal cell phone when you close. But you only want that to happen when the business is closed. You can set it up so that when you leave at the end of the day, you dial star 259 on, in your phone, and after you dial star 259, the phone calls will stop going to the regular business setup and it will start taking a, a different route. They'll start going to your personal cell phone. So let's go over how you can make something like that happen. And keep in mind, you can use call flow control to change anything. You can use it to change what numbers go where. You can use it to change virtually anything. I'm showing you just one example of how how this feature works. It's up to you to be creative and figure out how to use this feature to achieve what your clients want. This is nothing but a tool that you can use however you see fit. I'm going to show you one of the uses of this tool today in this video. So first things first over here, I just have to log in to free PBX. So I'm just going to open up a new window here and I'm going to log myself into free PBX. that part. All right, so I uh, go to the IP of my PBX. I go free PBX administration log myself in. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to applications and then call flow control. Now I'm going to hit add call flow toggle code. I'm going to call this after closing hours. Now I don't have, you can add a password to it so the whole idea is that not you know not any Tom Dick or Harry can set this up. So you, if you if you run a business with two or three people that you really really trust and you know them and you, like they're like family to you, you don't have to worry about this. If you're setting up a system for an office of 1,000 people where they're constantly hiring people they don't know and firing at any times, you are going to want to set up a password for something like this so that if some jackass finds out the code, they can't fuck with your entire company's phone system. But again, that's one of those social things where you need to understand the type of business that you're setting up the phone system for. You need to understand their company culture. You need to understand how they do business in order to figure out if this is something that you should set up or if this is just going to be a colossal waste of time. At my business, something like this is a colossal waste of time. Everybody here is like family. Nobody's going to do some stupid shit like this. If somebody does some stupid shit like this, it's going to affect them negatively, directly, so there's no point. But uh, you can set up a password over here so that when you, you, you know, not just any jackass can come in and screw with it. But back to, back to business here. So what I'm going to do is set up a code. It's called after closing hours. Now, the normal flow, the normal flow is going to be that when you call my business, it goes to all my phones. It's going to go to this ring group. We went over what ring groups were in a previous video. Long story short, the normal flow is going to be that when you call the business, it's going to go to my all the phones at the store. Now, the override flow here is going to be the IVR that we set up previously. So when I decide to enable this feature, rather than the phone calls just going to all the phones in the store, it'll go to the IVR where you can choose whether or not you want the, to go to voicemail or to go to my cell phone. So this is, instead of ringing the phones, it's going to prompt them. It's going to go, hi, we're closed. Press 1 to go to the vo general voicemail box or press 2 to get Lewis's cell phone. So we're going to hit save here. Now, the way this works is it says use feature code star 280 to toggle the call flow mode. Now, this thing, this, this thing over here, this is a destination. This is what I need you to understand. This call flow toggle control itself is now a destination. So this is not set up where if I just dial star 280, it's, it's going to work. If I dial star 280 from my phone, I'm going to change the call flow control, but I, I haven't set what's actually using the call flow control yet. So this is important. What I'm going to do is I want this to be set up so that when people call the business, there are two different ways it can go. So I have to go to inbound routes. I have to go to my repair business phone number, the inbound route I've set up for my business phone number over here and scroll down. And instead of the destination being set to a ring group, I have to set the destination to a call flow control. So I'm going to set it up to call flow control be after closing hours. And then I hit apply config. Now, let's see how this works. I'm going to go back over to that call flow control page here, and I'm going to show you what happens when I click onto the uh, after closing hours mode that I've set up. 
So I am going to call myself and just show you what goes on here. So I'm going to call the store. I almost dialed my own number wrong. <laughs> and it's going to the store. I pick, up, I pick up, and you can hear it, and now it's feeding back, so man. Now watch what happens when I dial star 280 from my phone. 280, speak. Feature code. She has the most annoying voice. And over here on the screen, it should show that something has changed. Or if it doesn't, let me just go back and refresh and let's see what happens here. All right, now see how this changed from red, I mean from green to red? It used to be green and now it's red. So now when I call the store, I'm going to call the store again and you're going to get something different this time. Assuming I didn't screw something up. Hi. Press 1 to reach our voice mailbox. Press 2 to reach the person at extension 101. One. And as you can see, it works. Now, if I want to disable that, I dial start 280 again. And when I refresh the screen over here, you'll see that this turns back from being red to being green, which means that it's deactivated. What kind of shit is that? Since when is green deactivated and red activated? That's kind of confusing because traffic lights are green when you go, when it's activated, but it's red when you have to stop, deactivated. I, I don't I guess in cartoons when the bomb is not about to go off it's green, but then when it's about to go off it's red. I don't anyway. That's call flow control. So you can use call flow control to change where calls go at different times. Now you can set this up in many, many different ways. You can set this stuff up so that it, it you know it'll go in then to an IVR, it'll go to different ring groups, it'll go to different extensions at different times of the day. This is just one of the many tools in your arsenal that you can use to accomplish whatever it is that you need to accomplish for the business phone system that you're setting up. This is the way I used it. You can use it however you want. And it's just, again, just another tool in your toolbox to help you get your job done.